Social unrest. Leaders are not just looking at policing. They're also looking at housing, especially in the predominantly black North St. Louis. One of the neighborhood's newest residents wants to help. We have <coughs> Louis, Lucas Rugoli of Love the Lou. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Lucas. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. Well, how do you plan to address these racial inequities through Love the Lou? So we actually, uh, over the last 10 years, have had uh, an army of volunteers come and join us uh, from outside of the city. And they have come into the city to focus on three different areas, business development, mentoring, and housing. So, um, and exactly how do all of these people work together? I also understand you have an army of volunteers. How did you find all these people? Yeah, so my wife and I, we moved into North St. Louis about 10 years ago and uh, intentionally just to love neighbors. And it started off with friends and family and has really turned into um, just uh uh, whether it's small groups or large groups or individuals just coming down to to volunteer with us. Now, you mentioned housing a little bit earlier. I know that's one of your passions. Can you tell me about the renovations? Yeah, last year um, it was really exciting. We actually had a local church, Grace Church uh, from Maryland Heights, came down and uh, they, they took a three-story house and uh, one year, and they restored the entire thing. We were able to take that house and give it to a neighbor um, who uh, has been living there as a rent to own. Her name is Tawana Lawson. And um, she she's done an amazing job, uh, not only as a tenant, uh, but really taking ownership of the house and the block. So definitely she is paying it forward. Uh, the only way really to keep this going is to empower young people. You need another generation to carry that forward. How are you involving the young people there? I'm so sorry, Lucas, can you hear me? I didn't catch any of that. No. I apologize. Let me go ahead and repeat that for you. The only way to keep this going is to empower young people. How are you involving young people in this? Yeah, um, we we have actually had um, over the last two years, we've been able to mentor about 40 students uh, from North St. Louis, from the Van Deventer neighborhood. And so we're able to give them jobs. We're able to uh, work with them through empowered experiences and through different enrichments throughout the entire year. Well, Love the Lou has lots of volunteering opportunities. As you can see, they're very busy. We do have a link on fox2now.com. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.